We also attribute our organization's immense growth to the supportive partners and sponsors who have believed in our mission to nurture African-American children, as well as our commitment to Black families. In addition to corporate and community partnerships, Jack and Jill is fortunate to have lasting connections with historically Black colleges and universities across the United States. I visited one of the leading HBCUs and institutions of higher learning, Howard University, to learn more about Jack and Jill of America's contributions. Well, we are so happy to have Jordan Allen and Stephen Spence with us today. Um, you all just don't know how excited I am to really just engage in this conversation um, with you both. But I want to give you the opportunity to share, you know, tell us your roles here at Howard and and what you two um, have pretty much dedicated your your year or two. Of course. So I serve as the 62nd president of the Howard University Student Association. And that's essentially the student government association here on Howard University's campus. My job is to serve as a bridge between students, administration, as well as faculty and what we want the university to look like. So I have the honor of serving as the 49th executive coordinator for the Howard University Undergraduate Student Assembly. And basically a little bit about UGSA, which is what our acronym is. We're in charge of like all the large scale and small scale programming on the campus. But basically what I've done while I've been here is connected students with like big corporations, because as you know, we're still students, we're at HBCU. Oftentimes we deal with underfunding. And so what I've done is I've increased our budget by about $500,000 um, to like do more bigger programming for students. And so through that, I've been able to partner with companies like Shea Moisture, Pepsi. Um, we're entering a partnership with Capital One, but that's just some of the things I've been able to do. So that's pretty cool. How would you say that Jack and Jill has prepared you for the leadership roles that you both um, serve in today? It gave me the confidence to come in and lead. Like I always say, for, if it wasn't for Jack and Jill, I wouldn't be the man I am today because it allowed me a platform to practice my skill. And now when I'm here, I'm mastering it. And so it looks as if, you know, I'm just gliding through, but I'm, I'm still learning, but I'm getting the fine tweaks out now. So I, I really owe that to Jack and Jill. Jack and Jill really did create a platform for me to realize the leadership capabilities that I did have. I never served as SGA president before Jack and Jill. I served as speech and debate president, but that was the largest scale that I had ever led on. And so then to come and lead within five different states, it's very parallel to the role that I have now and learning how to work with the team when people don't get their work done, how do you approach that? And so Jack and Jill just really taught me how to be a leader, how to network and how to build community. I want you to share with me what does Jack and Jill mean to you? It means so much to me. I, and I know it's very cliche to say beyond what words can describe, but it's truly what it is. For me, it's not just an organization. It's a place where I developed. It's a place where I got to know myself. It's a place also where I struggle, you know? Some of my first losses came from Jack and Jill, but some of my greatest victories as well. All of it comes from the village that supported, nurtured, mentored, and really just believed in me. And Jack and Jill was a huge part of that. So for me, Jack and Jill means family, but it also means nurturing. And so my biggest aspiration is to just be a mom. And a lot of that comes from the mothers who poured into me, moms like my mother, but also moms like Mom Ray White, as well as yourself, um, have been huge inspirations for Everything that was poured into me, and I'm just super excited to be able to pour that into someone else. Steven, like what about to you? echo those sentiments, like those mothers are people I still call today. Like mother members, Sharon, Cody, Bryant, like just like to be, say, this is what's going on in my life. I don't know how to navigate this. Can you help me? And so it's created a, a community for me, like of people who I can call whenever something goes down. Oh, that's wonderful. So. Wow, we have just learned so much about both of you, you know, during this, you know, short time of this interview. I know I could go on and on with many more questions, but I do want to close with what does the future of Jack and Jill look like to you? So I don't even mean to be corny. The future of Jack and Jill <laughs> looks like me and students that were, or children that were inspired while being in Jack and Jill and cannot wait to come back and be a mother in the organization and pour the same level of nurturing into the next generation that was poured into me. But I say also look around the campus. 
That's what the future of Jack and Jill looks like to me. It looks like the future change makers, the future leaders. Um, I hope to look back, you know, when I'm, I'm not going to say old, but like as I grow and mature, um, to see people taking over the world. Um, I know so many great people from Jack and Jill, and I just hope that when we get where we want to be in life, that we are able to come back and say, hey, like, you know, this is an amazing organization. I want to pour into you and I want to be able to give these opportunities and I want to stretch. And I really just hope that Jack and Jill can also expand into more students so we can really not only focus on the communities we are in now, but communities that we can impact. And I hope we can like change that and really become a level up for people. On this incredible journey, we have seen that Jack and Jill of America Incorporated has continued to thrive. Our founders were courageous trailblazers with the fortitude to sustain a vision immersed in love and devotion for our children. Now, 85 years later, their extraordinary influence remains exemplified through Jack and Jill's members, families, and alumni. As we honor our esteemed past, live in the achievements of the present, and anticipate the greatness of our future, we proclaim, tell them we are still rising. Thank you for joining me.